Hello, and welcome to another video by Enterprises Software Solutions, your number one software dudes. My name is Anthony, and today we're going to look at an example of using Power Apps to automate a business process. And we're going to be automating part of the employee onboarding process. So the only prerequisites for today is an Office or Microsoft 365 account, Power Apps, and a SharePoint list. So in this case, flip on over to SharePoint here, and here I have a list that I've created ahead of time. Nothing fancy, just the built-in list. So if we go back to Power Apps, you can see that I've got a several options to start from, as well as some templates. There is an employee onboarding tasks templates. That's a little more advanced than we have time for today. So I'm just gonna select the option for SharePoint. And by clicking on that, it's gonna get ask me for some additional information. That's fine. Uh, and I'm gonna select the SharePoint option here, go to our demo site, click on the employee onboarding list which is the list that I just showed you, and click on Connect. And that will load us right into uh, the Power Apps Editor. And I'm going to click on the Skip on this Welcome to the Power Apps Studio. And the template will create a three-screen app. So we have a Browse, which will browse the existing items in the list. On the left-hand side here, we can see in this hierarchy, we've got the Browse screen, uh, the Detail screen. So this, the, if we select one of the items, what it looks like. And the Edit screen. And this is where we can add or remove items from that list. And since this is employee onboarding specific, you can see some of these items in here sound like employee onboarding stuff. So for instance, the title, the description, the complete by, completed on. And the template doesn't have all the details we need. So let's walk through how to add just a couple of fields to this. So what's interesting is these fields come straight out of SharePoint. So if we wanna add fields to this, there are two steps. One, we add them to SharePoint, and two, we add them to this form here. So first, I'm gonna flip back over to SharePoint, and we are on the list here. So we're gonna go ahead in the top right-hand corner where we have the settings option, and we're going to go to list settings. And here, if we scroll down, we have the columns option. I'm gonna click on the create a column. So for example, we can create a department column, and we can say that this is going to be uh, a choice and so we can fill out all the choices so for instance i'll put in a couple of example departments and we're going to require that this contains information yes and click on okay and the other one that makes sense to me and keep in mind this is not a comprehensive list of columns that you may or may not want uh, but another one is going to be the start date so click on create column again give it the name of start date and this one's going to be a date and time if we wait for the page to load, we're going to hit require. We want a date only and default value of none. There we go. Click on OK. And now that we have those two additional columns created, uh, we can go back to our Power App. And here on the left hand side, we're going to expand Edit Screen. We're going to click on Edit Form. And now on the right hand side, we'll click on the Edit Fields option. And I'm gonna select the option for department here. If the field doesn't show up right away for you, you may need to refresh the Power App Studio uh, so that it loads it. So I'm gonna select department, click on add. There we go, and you see it adds it at the bottom. So I'm gonna drag it up, put it right underneath the title. I'm gonna add the other start date field as well. Click on add. Bring that up here. There we go. And now you can see that we now have department and start date on here as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this form. It should always be in the habit of saving. And the last thing I wanna to do to edit this form is to add a Power Automate flow to it as well. So if you wanna be notified every time an item is submitted, we have the option to create a Power Automate flow for that. So we can, on the left-hand side, click on Power Automate and create a new flow. So we can use Power Automate to do stuff when we click buttons inside of a Power App. Um, however, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna create a blank flow from the screen and we're going to delete the Power Apps trigger and we're gonna select the trigger to launch when an item is created in the SharePoint list. So I clicked on the SharePoint option, when an item is created, it's gonna ask us for a site. We're gonna select our demo site and the list name, we're gonna select our list. And now we have a trigger 
that will run every time something is created in that list. And then we'll add a new step. And let's say we want to send an email. So we'll select Office 365 Outlook. And I'm going to say, send an email. And I can send it to onboarding, for example. Or I'm just going to use my email address here. And in the right-hand side, we do have dynamic content. So we can put in the title of this person. I'm not being very verbose here. When you create this process, I would expect you to put some much more useful information in here. I just want to give you an idea of how to actually do this. So I'm going to save this. And there we go. And we will see an error here. And that is because we are not using the Power Apps trigger. That is OK. We will still be able to see this flow in Power Automate. So I'm going to go ahead and hit close here. All right, so now let's go to the Browse screen and click on the Preview option. And from here, if we click on this Create New button, this is where we can go ahead and fill out this information. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out. And this is this is a dropdown. We can fill out the dropdown. We'll select a start date of Monday, since we don't like giving our onboarding team very much time. Description. Day. And the mentor, so this is a, a person lookup by default. It's going to ask you to look up members of the site. And so I, I've added another member to my site, call it test user. There we go. Hit the checkbox here. Now we have our first item in the employee onboarding list. So if we flip back over to SharePoint and we do a refresh here we can see that we have our first item in the list. And then if we flip over to Power Automate, and you can see here, I already had this page open. So I'm gonna do a refresh. So it's gonna load up my flows. And you can see that this flow shows up even though we got an error in Power App Studio. And we can go to Run History and see that it sent that email out. And here is that new onboarding email that I just received. So this is a very simple example of how to use Power Apps. They're obviously much more powerful than what I've gone into here. And if this is something you're interested in, uh, definitely reach out. We have professionals on staff that can help you get started uh, building more advanced workflows in Power Apps. Because remember, Enterprises Software Solutions is your number one software dudes. Thanks for watching.